My name is Kellyanne Collins and I'm the Arts and Cultural Programming Officer here at the Linen Hall Library. Um, we're standing looking at the Arthur Campbell exhibition, which is currently hanging in our vertical gallery in the library. Uh, the reason why we're holding the Arthur Campbell exhibition this year is it is the centenary. And it felt like a, a kind of an appropriate anniversary to mark, simply because Arthur's quite, not quite as well known as perhaps he should be. And that's one of the key um, things we found in sort of the responses of people to the exhibition is it's kind of, oh, I, I didn't really know about Arthur because th they've heard of uh, sort of George Campbell, who was his younger brother, who is a, a much more well-known um, artist um, from Northern Ireland. And also his mother, Greta Bowen, who only started sort of painting in her 70s. Um, she kind of uh, sort of started painting at the sort of behest of the two sons, I think. Um, and, and she's quite well known as well. So um, Arthur was, he was a, from what I gather from talking to the family and, and that sort of thing, he was a quite a quiet, humble man. And he, was, it, he wasn't the sort of person to sort of stand out there and, and, and sort of shout from the rooftops about his ability. But certainly when you look at the work that's currently hanging um, and having put it all together, uh, the response from people is, is that this is actually a real gem. The material is a real gem of sort of work. Um, from someone that we, we should actually be paying much more attention to. Um, in particular, uh, people seem to be responding much more strongly to the photographs in the exhibition because what they really do is, is they sort of have a, a sort of social, historical aspect to them as well. They're really recording a Belfast in sort of the 1930s, early 40s. Um, and it's a time that really doesn't exist. You know, it's, it, it, and it, they are quite clear and powerful um, in their sort of representation of that time. So I think a lot of people are sort of coming and having a look and saying, oh, I remember that, or I, yes, I do remember that, but don't tell anyone I remember that. Um, so, so they are quite, there's really strong, strong responses to the black and white photographs, a series of them. Because he didn't work as a full-time artist, he, he had various commercial design advertising sort of jobs. He worked for Charles Hurst, uh, he worked for Harry Ferguson, in fact he uh, designed the um, Massey Ferguson badge. Um, so that's, so you, and what you do notice um, with the photographs is that they are really well designed. Um, I think of the right word. Um, they're framed incredibly well, uh, and and the the, the the layout of them is, is very definite, very particular, and that's something you can see in his work. Um, apparently, talking to the family, he was very disciplined about his work. He would sort of every evening um, he would lock himself away for sort of a couple of hours every night, and he'd either work on a painting or work on his sketches or work on his articles that he wrote, uh, and he kept up to date. So what you do is get a man who was very particular about recording every, about keeping a record and archiving everything. Um, so that, it gives you a sense, I guess, of the mind of sort of Arthur. He was, uh, and you can see that in the paintings, he is aware that he's documenting something. Um, um, because you, you see he's documenting the people and the places and, and an atmosphere that existed in, the, in, in sort of Belfast in that time. Uh, and you'll see when you go further down, because one of the things we do have is the exhibition was put together um, with the really generous time um, of the Campbell family, of, of um, Arthur's four children. Um, they've been through his archives and his material. And one of the really nice things about the exhibition is that not only do we have on display his actual work, but we've got his sketchbooks and his cameras and his... Uh,